Our people don't want to listen to God. They don't want to listen to the Bible. Because thou hearkenest not, thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy Yahweh, right? To keep his commandment and his statute which he command thee. There we go. That's what the Moses said in the beginning, right? Right? And there shall be upon thee. So the curses, the curses are going to be upon who? The so-called blacks, Latino and Native Indian. And there shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. For a sign and for a wonder. Right? For a sign and for a wonder. Keep in mind. So when we'll be going through whatever we're going through, as you already know, right? We've been demonized. We've been accused of teaching hell, spreading hell, lie, misinformation. Understand that. This thing must happen. That's what is going to allow us and the other nation to understand our work. We are the children of Jacob. We are the children of Jacob, right? We are the nation of the Mosai Israel. All right? So keep in mind. He said, verse 46, And there shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says that the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28 are going to be upon your seed, the seed of the so-called blacks, Latino and Native Indian, forever. As long as we continue to break the law, the commandment of the Mosai, the curses are going to follow us. The curses were upon my great, 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 our great, 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 great grandfather. Then it was on our grandfathers, right? Then the curses was on my father, right? Until this very last day. And the curse is still upon me. So you got to understand. The curses, because in the Christian church, they make you believe that because Jesus died, right? And resurrected on the third day. Hey, the curse is done away. No, the curse, the curses, they are still in full effect. The curses are to give you an understanding. The curses are to warn you, to let you know that, you know what? You are an Israelite. You are not a so-called Latino. You are not a so-called black. You are not a so-called African-American. No. That's the main purpose of what? The curses. So everybody can understand that we're the children of the Mosai. Hola, Señor. Señor, tiene un minuto para la palabra de Dios. So you gotta keep in mind, right? Because thou servest not the Lord thy Yahweh with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Deuteronomy 12 and 7. Because you don't want to serve the Mosai willingly with love, with sincerity, you don't want to serve the Mosai. Hey, the Mosai said the curse is coming, buddy. The curse is they're right here to stay. The curse is they're here to take over you. That's what we read in the Bible. That's the objective. That's the main purpose of what the curse is. That's the main purpose of the curses. Keep in mind. All right. Therefore, hold on. What did the Most High say? Therefore, shall thou serve, shall thou serve thy enemy? Who do we serve today? Mainly, the so-called blacks, Latino and Latino. Who do we serve today? We serve our enemies, as the Bible say. We serve our enemy, as the Bible say. Let me read it again. Before the wicked run their mouth and say that we teach it here. Let, let, let read it again. He said, therefore, that means consequently, right? Because there's something we all learn. Cause effect, right? There is no smoke without fire. Neither is there fire without smoke, okay? If there is effect, there will be causes. If there is causes, for sure there will effect. So keep in mind, all right? He said, therefore, shall thy serve thy enemies. See that? Shall thou serve thine, thine enemy which the Lord shall send against thee? So who sent our enemy against us? 
The most say Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. He is a terrible God. Yahweh is a terrible God. Yo, bro. Hey, let me give you my flyer, bro. Hold on. Let me give you my flyer, bro. Do you, do you read in English or Spanish? Spanish. Señor, acuérdate. Si Cristo regresa ahorita mañana. Hey. See, right? So it's important, Miranda. Somebody tell me YouTube layout. Yeah. The number is a friend. Come in front of the telephone. Let's really say, therefore, shall thou serve thy enemy which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. So the Moses allow Esau to destroy us. Understand that? Esau, the Moses allow Esau until he has destroyed thee. So who destroyed the so-called black Zatino and Native Indian? Our enemy, Esau Edom. Esau Edom. is in the Bible, man. History. Take a look at the slavery. Take a look at the history of what? America, 1492. Take a look at the history of our people. Back in those days. Take a look. And think about it. Right? What happened to our forefathers, the so-called native Indian? You gotta keep in mind. That's what the Mosai say. The Mosai say he made it clear. The Lord he made it clear. The Mosai say, listen, if you don't keep this commandment, these are coming on you. And eventually, what's going to happen? This curse is gonna take over us. The curse is gonna rule over us. And then we will be given into the hand of our enemies. Our enemies, they are going to rule over us. It's in the Bible. This has nothing to do with it. It's a pure fact. It's in the Bible. Bible prophecy. That's what happened to the so-called black Latino and Native Indian. When you see our people being taken to the jail, being killed, shot by the police, abused, right? All type of evil that happened to our people, right? All these laws that are being passed in the north, in the south, in the east, in the west, is to oppress our people. It's against our people. Is to bring our people onto what walls destruction. So you gotta understand, brother and sister. The most I say, until he have destroyed thee. So the goal of Esau is to destroy us as a nation on this earth. So you just gotta understand that they are not for your turn. Esau Edom is not for your turn. It doesn't matter how you believe, what you believe, whatever. No, man. The scripture say, Well, that's what I read to you. Right? He said, well, until he has destroyed thee, and he shall put a yoke of iron. And our people being destroyed. We've been destroyed already. As a nation, we've been destroyed. Because we don't know who we are. That's why we call ourselves blacks, Latino, Hispanic, and the list goes on and on and on. We've been destroyed a long time ago. Right? So we just want to put out there, man, for our people. Because our people, they're simple. They don't know. We bring it out. As you already know, we come out here to give understanding to our people. Right? We come out here to give them more understanding. Alright? We come out here to give them understanding. You already know. You see what I'm saying? So, as I read it, what I'm going to do, I'll be shutting down on that verses, right? And Lord willing, I'll be right back at it tomorrow from the verse 49. Because Deuteronomy 28, you got to do it like in detail. Deuteronomy 28, for the new brother, the new sister, they are waking up in the truth. This is for you. All right? This is for you. So, Lord, will if the Moses allow us, tomorrow we will continue with the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28. And we will, we will pick up where we left off at. We will continue from verse 49. All right? 
So with that, we will give our praises. As you already know, we give our praises, glory, honor, power beyond to the Most High Yahweh, and we do so through Yahweh Shai Mashiach. And we say, Kwam Yashala, Kwam Yashala. We say thanks to all the brother and the sister that have been online, watching and sharing, and standing the spirit, brother. Spread the gospel. You gotta spread the good news. Right? We gotta spread the good news throughout the fucking of this earth. That's our job. Right? Let us keep up the good work, as the Most High say. Right? Keep the commandment. Want the brother, want the sister, let them know that's the Most High. Hey, at the end of the day, hey, it is what it is. Whether they want to heal or they want to forbear, whatever they believe or not, right? That's what the Most High command that we do. So we just want to put out there, right? We just want to put out there for everybody, all right? So with that, we say Shalom.